my goodness, I feel so naked without any eyeshadow on. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. Today I'm super excited to be doing this video. I know, I'm, I'm a little too excited. Okay, so chill it down a little bit, Katie. Today I'm super excited to be doing this video because it is the start of my makeup tutorials where I take my top five palettes from the year 2021 and I create another look using them. And I always look forward to doing these. I've only done it once. Here I am talking up. I did it last year and it's inspired by Annette from Annette's Makeup Corner. She's done it a couple years now and I just love it because I love talking about palettes, but getting to go back and try my favorites again on camera with you guys is just so very special so it's definitely something that I tried last year I absolutely love and I plan to continue so today is going to be the very first tutorial my top five so this is in the five spot where we're counting up to my number one palette from 2021 this one landed very comfortably at number five and it is a fantastic palette so let's go ahead and just do the reveal and we can get into putting something on my eyes because I feel very naked without any eyeshadow on or mascara but anyway the palette I chose for my fifth spot in my countdown to Toward my favorite palette of the year from 2021 is the Myers Cosmetics The Basic B Perception Palette. And I think if I go like that, you can see the name. There you go. Really cool, really cool artwork, really cool design and effect and make it hard to actually read it, but it's it's fun. It's very unique and different. But anyway, if you missed my videos on this before, I've done Palette Palooza, but also I did its own dedicated review where I th think I shared like four or five looks with it. I just went back and looked through the Palette Palooza where I reviewed this to see all the looks. And I'm gonna try to do something very purple leaning, hence my shirt today, but I feel like I didn't dive very much into the purpley aspect of this. So I'm gonna do purple and maybe we'll also use the multi-chrome or duochrome, whatever this thing is. It's so so very beautiful. I'll have to use that because I think that would look so very pretty with purple like in the matte. So I'm planning to use this, this, maybe I'll use this as well or maybe this. I don't know. I just want to use it all. But anyway, this is the palette. Easily won my fifth spot for 2021 palettes. It's just such a great palette. I will leave the review video I did for it linked down below. So if you want to go into more details and hear more about the nitty gritty, the pros and cons of this palette and see all the looks that I did outside of this one, I will have, as I said, the video linked down below so you can do that. But I'm just so excited to get to play again. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right, so we've zoomed in a bit closer. Here is the palette if you want to see it more up close. But I think I'm going to start with doing a winged outliner with the black very very thin and then I'm going to take this darker purple on top of it and use this for the outer corner I think I don't know how much of a difference that'll be but it should be enough especially where it starts to like soften out but this I'm going to keep pretty much just a black line and then I'll probably use this mostly on the outer corner to make sure it stays very purpley in the outer corner and then I don't know if I should use a hot pink or this this more peachy pinky I don't even know what color that is but the softer pink I feel like one of those two pinks in the inner corner would be fun as well. So that's what I'm thinking towards or leaning towards right now. So let's dive in and get going. First step, I'm going to get a really tiny, tiny little brush. Um, this might be too tiny. This is a pretty tiny brush. This is the Lip Precise Line L06. We'll start with this. I said I wanted a tiny line, so that is this. So I'm just going to take it right against my lid and I'm gonna wing it out. I remember really enjoying this black. I feel like a lot of the palettes that came out, there were several palettes that came out that had like a variety of dark tones in it, not just like one black or one brown. And all of them had such great blacks. And this is definitely one of them. I just like a nice, it's so nice to have a nice black. But not only that, as much of a skeptic as I was when I was seeing so many palettes coming out with dark colors, because I was like, oh yeah, all you really need is a black. I really changed my mind after, I know, um, let's see, Annette's Giant Wolves palettes had a bunch of dark tones. Kaleidos Club Nebula had a bunch of dark tones. This had a bunch of dark tones. And using them, I'm like, it's actually nice to have a variety of different dark tones instead of just a dark black or a dark brown. It really adds to a look if you're wanting to go all purple to have like more of a purple dark instead of just the only option you have for the dark shade being a black. Okay, I think that's good to start with. This actually turned out to be like a perfect brush for this eyeliner or for me to apply this eyeliner because this is so sharp and so precise. Okay, I made just made that side a little bit bigger than I was intending, of course, just because I opened my mouth. But anyway, try to correct it. Made both lines a little thicker. I think that's a little bit better. Anyway, so now we're gonna take that purple on another small brush. This is the E27, or I should just show you guys so you guys know, the Implode, that purple. It's like a purple reddish. No, it's purpley. It's like a grape color. I don't know, not like a vibrant purple. And I'm gonna put that right here. I should have said, but I'm not, I'm not really sure if I want this black to stay like super duper intense, like the line super sharp, or if I want it to kind of haze out and soften and blend into this purple. So we're gonna see what happens and then see as the look goes on. And if it softens it up and I like the look, then I'll leave it. If it softens it up and I don't like that, then I can just put a little bit more black. But I always like if I plan to do 
um, use eyeshadow for my black liner or whatever, I like to do that first because it just sticks so well when I have a really nice tacky base. And then I put the black down and then it pretty much can stay pretty solid even though I'm blending stuff and whatnot on top of it. So there, just like that. That's what we're gonna start and I'm gonna just take a touch inward more on the tip of my brush so I don't make too big of a mess, but I'm gonna bring that purple a little far like that. We'll start with that. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to a nice floppy. This is the E33. I didn't mean to grab all Sigma today, but that's apparently where I'm going. And I'm gonna take that light blue curious, or light blue, light purple, lavender color, and I'm gonna put this on the outer half. And again, I kind of forgot till now, I, I've been doing this a lot lately, whenever I do these type of videos that I kind of forget that I have my face all done so I can kind of go ahead and connect it down to the bottom if I wanted to. I'm so used to just do the top and then I'll fix it up with concealer and do the bottom. So I work with it in like a disconnected way, if that makes sense, but my face is all done so I don't have to wait. So I'm just gonna take this around. And like I said, I wanna keep pretty strong purple look to this outer corner. I did a purplish, I think it was blue and purple look um, when I previously reviewed this palette. So I'm not wanting it to look too close to that one. So I wanna really make the purple in this palette pop. And then I think I will go on with hot pink in the inner corner because I feel like that'll definitely help make it different from that first look that I did that you know used some purples in it. I don't want it to be too similar to that unlike tomorrow's video because I film these a little bit out of order just because of things going on but that video I was like I should have looked at this palette beforehand to see what looks because I think I might just repeated a look that I've already done for you guys on camera so you'll see that palette tomorrow well not tomorrow I'm thinking it's every day I'm doing every other day so in two days you'll see that it blends so easily I'm so impressed okay so this is where we're at I'm gonna pause I'm not really done blending the two purples together I'm just kind of laying the groundwork and then I'm gonna go back and really I don't know, to find it out how I want it to. So now I'm gonna go into the E42 brush from Sigma. I'm gonna take the, the hot pink. Let's just do it. I'm gonna take that hot pink there. What is this? Fusion, we're gonna do it. We're going for it. And I'm gonna put this right in this inner portion because I think I will use that, um, what is it? Psyche shade that's like a greenish kind of multi-chrome and put that on. I feel like the green with this pink and purple would be really pretty. And really popping. That bright blue is also a lot of fun in this palette. This palette is just like, look how pigmented it is. It's it's so nice to work with and really fast too for being a bright palette. Sometimes it can take a lot of work to either build up or blend out and get them all to mesh nicely. That is something I, I really do enjoy about Midas's formula is they're very pigmented but the formula is the type of formula, I don't know if it's like it's because it's a little thin or whatnot, but it makes working it with it very easy. I'm gonna take this fuzzy, oh, not fuzzy, this is a dual fiber E41 clean and I'm just gonna run along the edges of that pink. Just to soften it out without adding any more color. There is a white in here but this works just as well for me too. I feel like the white might be a little too bright because if I remember right, I think that white was pretty impressive. Okay, there you go. I just, I'm always nervous with pink, of looking like sick with the pink because, or pink or red. It's just, I don't know. I'm not very good at working with pink and red. Okay, so now that I have set that, I'm just gonna go back and forth a little bit with, where are my brushes? Oh, they're there. With the purples on the outer corner and blend those because I definitely need more blending between the two. And I'm just taking that brush that I had the darkest purple on and I tapped a little bit of the lighter purple I'm just going right over that line to soften them out to hopefully make it so there isn't a line. And I think I will leave the black a little fuzzy. I think that's a, like the black line that I put down. I kind of like that it's not a super hard line, but it's still defined. I don't know. Keep going back and forth of like, yeah, it should be a nice defined line. But if I keep it this fuzzy, I also won't notice how the angles are so off. Definitely a trick if you do your lines wonky all the time. Make them not super sharp and then it's not as noticeable. At least that's how I found. Anyway, okay, that's much better. See how nice of a blend that is now? All right, I'm just taking that purple, meshing it here with the pink, and there. I like how that looks. So let me do the same to this side and just catch it up. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with some glitter primer. This is from JD Glow. Pop that on, and now while that gets tacky, I'm gonna pick out a brush 
and oh y'all I can't decide these two in the middle I feel like would go really well and they're both like a multi chrome or at least dual chrome they shift they shift basically this shade I kind of want to use because it can look green but it also has a pinky shift so I feel like it'll go really well with this look but this shade would be like an unexpected it's kind of like a what is it gold to pink depending on like straight on I feel like you see pink but from the side here I see a lot of gold but then I feel like I should also use this because it's a purple and I said I was going for a purple look but when if I'm going to use one of the multi crimes I feel like I should just use it this is that pinky tone I told you I should use it's like pink to purple so I'll definitely go with this look but I wonder if it'll go too well and then this is the pink to green y'all I think we're gonna use a pink to green though I think I should use this one because it's like I don't know would go well but this green would look so pretty with a pop of green with this purple and pink look don't you think i really wish you guys could be here to help me i'm gonna do it i'm gonna go with the lighter one the psychic that or psych psyche that i was really enjoying it has a hint of green in it maybe that's why i'm reaching for it because i just think green with this purple pink would pop really well and you guys can go down to the comments and yell at me if you're hoping to for me to pick the other shade i'm so sorry and like i said i should probably pick that purple as well to make this like the just the regular shimmer purple but when there's such gorgeous multi chromes in a palette, I don't know, how do you just pick the ordinary shimmer? And this shade, while it's absolutely beautiful, it is super thin, like the the, the color itself. It doesn't, ha it's not um, very dense in pigment. It's very sheer, but has a ton of sparkle and whatnot to it. So it's gonna take me some time of back and forth and really cutting this out. I think I'm gonna cut it out and I'll probably end up just tapping it all over my lid with my finger just to make it a little bit faster. I just don't have a lot of patience, I guess, today. But it is one of those showers that I'm not the biggest fan of. However, as you can see, I put up with it because it is really pretty. It is gorgeous, stunning. Let me see if I'm wetting my brush makes it any better. I forget if I tried that previously when I reviewed this because I feel like I reviewed this, I guess it was towards the latter half. I can't even remember when I reviewed this. I forget, but uh, oh, it had to been the first half because I think it, this was in my first, you know, ranking the first half of the palettes I tried this year video. So it's been a while. All right, so I'm just gonna take my finger and pop it on to make this go a bit faster. Spraying it helped a little bit, I guess. Not a not a crazy ton. I don't know. It was fine. Look at that. <clears throat> so beautiful. Wow, I can see the shift here from like the green to the pink. And it could be because I'm going over the purple, that's why it's so strong, but oh, it's so beautiful. So let me catch the other side up and we'll continue. Okay, so here we are. I think I made the right decision. It's so beautiful with the with the green kind of shining through the multi-chrome and it, with the purple and pink, I feel like it just makes it pop a little bit more than if I used the pink because then it would have, you guys know I like contrast, contrasting colors in my looks. Anyway, so since I did go over the black because I was doing it with my finger and wasn't that precise, I'm just gonna go back over the black a little bit and just touch it in so I have a defined line is all I'm going for. Nothing crazy, I'm just gonna touch it back. And it shouldn't take too much since I already had the black line there to begin with. Okay, so also I should say at this present moment, I have like just a handful of little specks from the shimmer, but absolutely no map that has fallen if you're someone who's curious. At this point, I'm gonna go back to the dark purple that I put on the outer corner. Yes, that's what I'm gonna do. I almost thought about doing the lighter purple, but we're gonna do this. And I'm going to just tap it over the outer edge very gently of the shimmer that we put all over the lid. You'll have to tell me, I mean, I, I suppose I'll know this once I go to edit this, but I'm always curious how uh, how well you guys can see the multi print shifts on camera. I'll have to see if I can get a mirror, maybe use this mirror in here to sh try and show you guys at the very end because I think it's just so beautiful. multi crumbs are something that I feel like I can only really appreciate them in person. Maybe I'm alone here. Maybe I just don't know how to use them correctly or I don't know how to use my camera to correctly, which could definitely be it. But I always feel like, um, even watching other people's, it's usually always like, okay, it just looks extra sparkly. It's nothing that special. But then you see the same shadow in person. It's like, oh my goodness, now I understand. Let me go ahead and line my eyes or my waterline, I should say, with a black. And I'm gonna move to my lower lash line, which you guys know I'm kind of tempted to, uh, to do a different color to really, I don't know, make this cool color pop. We could do green on the lower lash line and that would still pop with something different, but it would tie in the lid. Let's go ahead and do that. So we're gonna start with the dark purple right against my lower lash line. 
like I always do when it comes to my lower lash line. I just keep it really dark right against the lash line to kind of make sure it's nice and seamless of a blend between what's in my waterline to my skin. And connect it back a little bit. I think that'll do. And then let's go ahead and take a little bit more of a fluffier brush, a still small pencil, and I'm gonna take the bright green Open Mine, one of my favorite, that shade right there. Almost matches my nail. And I'm gonna put that right here. I'm gonna try to make sure I stay in frame. And then I'm going to take the lighter purple that I put on the outer corner uh, up here and I'm going to put it down here to blend this all together and I'll bring it up a little bit. Just tie everything together. Okay, and as you can see with that green, it's so very bright in the pan, but on my lids because it's my skin tone that I'm putting on and not like a white base, it does deepen it up a bit. So something to notice or take note of for this um, palette. But. Ugh, like, did you guys see how fun and effortless and like just beautifully that palette blended out? I had to pick it for one of my top five. Okay, so for my inner corner, I think I'm just gonna go with this shade because it's nice and bright. This one would probably be fine, but it has a little bit of depth in there that I'm not really wanting to bring to the look. So we're gonna take that first shade I pointed at called Motive, if you're curious. It's like a beautiful green. I do think that was a bit of an interesting choice with the shimmers in this palette, not that I'm complaining at all, but I just think it's interesting that like two of them are very green leaning and two of them are very like pink purple leaning. I don't know, I wouldn't, wouldn't have mind them being a little bit more different. Like maybe instead of this light green, since you have this beautiful like du uh, multi-chrome, duochrome green, you could have done like a yellow. All right, sorry that just cut off at a really awkward moment or just mid-sentence for me, but my camera stopped recording and I didn't realize it. So hence for the weird cutoff. But by the time I realized it stopped recording, I already finished, you know, doing all the blending and stuff like that. So I was like, you know what, I'll just go ahead and do my mascara and all that. And then we'll come out and do the outro and I can show you guys the up close looks. So here are up close looks of the eye look. And I also try my best to capture the shift with a mirror. I have no idea if it worked out because lighting like the mirror was blocking the light so I don't know if that hindered or helped you guys see the shift at all but I'll show you what I was able to get so you guys can at least see a little bit for yourself and let me know what you guys think but oh my goodness I absolutely love the shift that I see the shimmer on the lid is so intensely sparkly like every time I move I'm just like wow that's pretty like I could sit here and do that all day but yeah really like how this look turned out love the little purple pink I feel like it turned out a little bit heavier on the pink than I intended I really only intended to have the pink you know kind of the inner kind of a pop of color but I mean there's only so many purples in here so I thought the pink would be a fun addition but overall I really like the look I like the little pop of green on the lower lash line and the oh, just the shimmer the shimmer really steals the show when it comes to this palette and yeah this is going to be it for my number five palette of 2021 this is the look that I did absolutely love how it turned out and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing me create it and as I said if you guys want to see the full review I'll leave it linked down below if you want to get more information as far as I know you should still be able to get this it is a collab palette so I have no idea when it's going to be you know done being produced or whatnot but I really do like it. It's a great palette full of a wonderful mix of really dark colors and really neon, very popping colors, gorgeous shifty shimmers. It's a, it's a great experience. I had so much fun with this palette and I had so much fun with the palette today getting to use it once again. And it's number five from all the palettes that I tried in 2021. So yeah, with that said, that is going to do it for my video today. Thank you guys so very much for watching. As I said, we're going to be counting down to my number one palette. So in two days when I release my next video, I'm going to share with you guys my number four palette from 2021. And let me know down in the comments below, can you guess which palette I put at my number four spot? If you missed my last video, I shared my top palettes from 30 all the way to number six. Today's number five, but I did those. I didn't do tutorials for those, but I just wanted to share with you guys them. So you've seen the top palettes from 2021. You guys probably know which ones are missing. So I'd love to see if you guys could guess the order for the rest of these palettes and you don't have to do all of them You can just guess what's my number four palette that will be the next video that you guys see in two days So if you want to guess leave your guesses down below in the comments and in two days You can come back and see if you're right or not and we can continue and then guess the next palette after that But with that said if you want to continue getting daily content for me, I'm over on Instagram I'm ladykatie 92 over there if you like reels and funny little reels as well as tutorial reels I'm over there sharing a reel almost every day and I do up close eye pictures and I'll definitely be sharing an up close of this look because because I need a macro shot of it on my Instagram. I think it's so very pretty. So yeah, I'm over there, LadyKD92. And with all that said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.